Good morning, I'm Sandy Serrano Sewell from Centro de Niños, here with you today to bring you another exciting STEM video. And we have a special guest with us today, our friend Anna Puentes. Hi everybody. <laughs> I'm very excited to work with the kids and can't wait to give you guys another STEM adventure. Hi, I'm Miss Anna and welcome to another STEM adventure at Centro de Niños. Today we'll be discovering what a stethoscope is and what it's used for, and even make our own. Is that exciting, you guys? Yeah. Yeah? You guys want to make one? Yeah. Alrighty. And today we're just going to start off with a little bit of exercising. And when we exercise, our hearts beat faster. So that means we get to feel it. And if we do our special little tool, that means we get to hear it too. Who's ready for that? Me! Oh yeah, we're ready for that. So we can't hear our hearts with our ears right now, can you? I can't hear my heart, you can't hear it. But when we sit down and we're quiet and we put our hands on our heart, can someone find your heart? Let's find your heart. You found it? Do you feel it? Yeah. So when we're sitting down quietly, we get to feel our heart. Okay, everyone, let's jump up and down five times. Let's run in place. Woo, I'm tired. Now stand still and put your hand over your heart and see if you can feel your heartbeat. Did you feel it? Yeah. And now I'm going to show you how to listen to your heartbeat. When we go to the doctors, they use a special tool called a stethoscope to hear your heart. Can everybody say stethoscope? Stethoscope. It's made of a long black tube and it has a flat surface where we can hear our heart. And then also it has these headphone things that we put in our ears so we can hear our heart. Can I see your heart? Let me see if I can hear it. Wow. And then two, the doctors use this so we can hear our lungs. When you say it's okay, the doctors place the stethoscope on your chest and if they're very quiet, they can hear your heart beating. Have you ever seen a stethoscope? No. No? no? I, I saw uh, a lot of science. Yeah, you've seen a lot of science. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make your own stethoscope. Yeah? yeah. Woo! So let's start with making our own stethoscope. <coughs> We're going to start off by getting two funnels, two different sizes. And right here we have a red one and a yellow one. And you want to have two different openings. So there's going to be a wide opening and a small opening. That way we can put the tube in. You can find these at your local hardware store, so it's not going to be that hard. And these are made out of plastic here. <coughs> Alrighty. And then you're going to get the plastic tube right here. Can someone hand me the ruler? So you're going to measure out 10 inches, which is about this long. And you're going to cut it. Let's see. 10 inches. And here you go. Always ask a grown-up to cut this, okay? Because you guys can't cut this by yourselves. Yeah. Too sharp, right? Yeah. We already has their cut tubes, right? That we cut. Now, let's put a book, put them in there. Alrighty, now grab the red funnel, everybody. The red funnel. We're gonna share here, okay? So now we're gonna put it at one end of the tube. Okay, now grab the yellow funnel. So we're gonna put the small little tube inside the other one. Like that. We're gonna put tape right here so we can hold on to the tube, yeah? Alrighty. Alrighty, now put one in your ear, one on your chest. There you go. Can you hear his heart beating? How does it sound? See if you could hear it. Here, let's face it this way. There you go. Do you hear something? Wow, I hear your heart going bottom, bottom, bottom. Whoa, you can hear it? Is he, is he a human? Today we had a fun and engaging lesson making homemade stethoscopes. You can also use cardboard or a hose, a gardening hose to make it at home. For 
For more adventures like this for Sam, go see our YouTube channel at Centro de Niños and we're gonna be able to show you more fun activities. Can everybody say bye? Bye!